In this video, we're going to talk about marking and padding in Oxygen Builder. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. When we talk about marking and padding, we basically talk about the empty space that we leave outside or inside an element. We're going to see later on what are the differences. Every page builder have those settings, the padding and the margin, and basically there are some differences in how you're going to use those. In other page builders like Elementor or uh, Breezy, you will find the spacer element that you can add underneath an element and you can have space between two elements. So if you want to have this title and then you have uh, some columns and you need to put some space inside here, you drag and drop here an uh, element that is called the spacer or something like that. And you put that at the has a height of 40 pixels and it will leave some space. Of course, you can also add margin inside there and you will get the same result. But in Oxygen, you will not find this spacer element because in Oxygen, the first priority of the team is keep the code to keep the code uh, clean. So they don't want to add elements that you don't need to add. And you can do that with uh, CSS. So let's say that we have this element. This is an, a heading element. And you can see that once you click it, you will see the box of the heading. And that is the edge of the element. This is the element itself. Uh, the margin is the space outside an element and the padding is the space inside the element. We're going to put a little bit of background here in order to understand what is the padding and what is the margin. So let's go first and add here a background and of course we're going to see later on about the backgrounds but we need a background here. And now as you can see the background, the red background is uh, starting from the left side of the O and it's basically touching uh, the O. If I go here that says advanced and then let's go back and let's go to sizing and spacing, we will see the padding and the margin for this element. Of course, this is something that follows up to every element in Oxygen Builder. So we're going to use the padding that it says here and the padding is the space inside the element. So I mean inside the edge of the element, inside their limits. So if I put here 20 pixels and this is the left side, it will mean that it will leave 20 pixels from the beginning of the element, which is the line here, until the actual element itself, which is our services. If I go and put here 20 pixels, it will leave it on the right. And if I go on top, 20 and 20, I can do a little bit of square like this. So this will give me an empty space and I can have my own background inside the HTML element. Of course, I could also give it 30 and hit apply all. And this means that uh, the 30 pixels will go to every box, as you can see, and it will apply the 30 pixels. I can only I can also select the pixels and select something else. But this is for a later on video. So that was the padding. Now, the margin is the space outside the element. So the space that we have uh, after the blue line here at the end of the red background until the next element. So here we have 30 pixels. If I go and put here zero, you will see now that these columns are closer to here. Of course, they have their own padding inside here. And that's why these uh, uh, white columns are not touching the box here, but we can do that and remove also the padding inside here. And we're going to uh, do another layout that they are touching themselves. So this is the basic difference between the padding and the margin. Again, the margin is the outside space. The padding is the inside space. So let's add two divs and uh, we're going to put those on top here. I'm going to add a div. Okay, I'm going to drag that on top here. So we have the div here and I'm going to uh, add inside that div another div. Okay, so you cannot see that there are two divs inside here because uh, the divs haven't uh, any width or height. So they are uh, all of those taking the space that oxygen put those in order for us to work 
uh, with the, the divs in the back end. And as you can see there, we have a div and then we have another div. The way you can see those are in a parent-child uh, relationship, as we can say here. So the parent means that this is the parent div and it contains something else inside, which is another div. So we're going to put the outside div uh, a background. We're going to put here a background of, uh, let's go for a red. And as you can see, we have the red. And this is the inside, not the outside, as you can see, because I didn't select the outside. And let's go for the outside and we're going to give it another background and that will be the green. Let's go for something like a green. Now, as you can see, I cannot see the green because I can only see the background that it's uh, inside. Uh, so it's a box and then we have inside another box that it's covering the first one and I can only see the second one. If I want to see the first one, I have to go inside here and I have to go advanced and then I'm going to go into sizing and spacing and I'm going to put here some padding. So let's go for 20 padding inside here. As you can see, this is the uh, parent div and this is the child div inside here. I gave a padding to the outside box and now it has space until the next element until the another div to start it has a little bit of space and then the next element starts from here now if i want to put also 20 pixels at the bottom i can do and then i will have something like that but i can also go inside this div which is uh, the uh, parent the child element and i can go into advanced sizing and spacing and put here a margin of 20 pixels. This will give me the same result because I have here the child element and outside of that child element I will give 20 pixels and that it means that the next element will start uh, after that. So the parent element can take, uh, can go underneath that and it ha must have a space of 20 pixels. So as you can see, you can style that layout with two different ways. You can put a padding inside here and put the padding in the parent uh, div or you can set a margin inside the child div. It's uh, something that you can do and you can do it with two different ways. Uh, as long as you keep uh, using padding and margin, you will understand the structure and the workflow and you will see what you need every time. There's no right or wrong answer, but you have to be consistent. And uh, if you try to do something like that with two different ways and you try then after a week or a month or something to uh, remove some space, you will have to go and find where you put the padding or the margin. So keep it consistent and you're going to be okay. So basically, whenever I want to put a space between two elements, this uh, say button and these columns, I will go into the top element and I will put some margin. I can go also to the bottom element and put a margin on the top, but I prefer to go to the top element and put a margin at the bottom. Again, it will be the same thing. If I put here 20 pixels, it will be the same. Just going into here and putting into advanced sizing and spacing and putting a margin of 20 here. I will have the same exact uh, layout, but this is how I'm used to work. And I used to go into the top element and put a top uh, bottom margin inside there. Now, keep in mind that whenever you make a change in the oxygen, you will have a dot here. This means that something is changed in that element. As you can see, we have a dot here. And once I click the advanced, I have the dot in everything that is changed from the default layout. So uh, this is the uh, section and it has a different background, different sizing and spacing, different layout and different typography. If I add something, another section, I will have everything blank and whatever I change, it will add here a dot just to show me that there is a, changing inside, a change inside there that I have done. Uh, so with padding and margin, you can create uh, a various of layout. And as you can see here, we have a column and this column has a padding inside because we have the column with the white background. And if I hover outside the column, we have here another uh, a box. And that means that this is the column 
and this is a div inside the column. Uh, I create that layout sometimes in order to get more control. So we have div inside a div. The column is basically a div to give us more control uh, inside here. So uh, here we have some uh, margin or padding, uh, whatever you want to do. But for me, I would put here the div and I would put some padding inside here. So the next element will start here. You could also go into that element and put a margin, but I would not recommend it. This is how we usually work. We put padding in the parent element and not margin in the child element. After that, we have this element and we don't have any margin inside here. We have this element with a little bit of margin, as I can see here. And if I go to advanced and sizing and spacing, I can see that I have eight pixels. Then we have this element with a little bit of margin and probably more than eight pixels. Let's go to size and spacing. And as I can see, I have 18. And then I have this button, which will not have basically, I think, any margin. Let's see. Yeah, because we have the padding of the whole div inside here. In Oxygen, you can also add padding and margin by clicking the element that you want to edit and then go into the, uh, let's say, the bottom of the page of the element. And you will see that I can now have the ability to click and drag. And this will give me a little bit of margin. So we're going outside the element. I'm going to click that and drag. Sorry, let's do that here because it's a little bit bigger and I can do that, that better, I think. Let's click that. The mouse doesn't want to follow me. Let's go for the pad. OK, click. And as I can see, I can drag it. Once I can drag it, you will see at the bottom of the page, bottom right above the clock, that says margin bottom 49 pixels. This is how you can see how many pixels you have in the margin. It's something difficult to find in Oxygen. Uh, in the first years, I have missed that. But there is uh, the margin there. So. Uh, as you can see, I can go click the uh, element that I want to put margin to and then I can drag and drop it. The same goes for the padding. If I go here into the box, I can go here and uh, here is the, the padding of the child element and outside is the margin. So I can drag it and make it bigger or I can go here and I can drag that and make that bigger if I want. It's totally up to you what you want to use. If you want to use the numbers here or you want to use the drag and drop. Basically, in most cases, I will use the drag and drop and uh, look it. And with the eye, I can understand how many pixels there are. But I have to go and be sure in the number and maybe make a little bit of uh, differences here. So I'd, instead of 47, I would go for 50 to have a round number. After that, I would know that this is the number that I want and I can go to the next element and put uh, 50 again in order to have something that is similar in the layout. Now, let's go to a different layout. And as you can see, we have something like this. And this, as I hover, I can see the uh, uh, limits that we have in the box, the uh, the lines, sorry. And I can see that those are pretty close. So I know that this element doesn't have any margin outside here, I think. Let's go into advanced or it has a little bit like six pixels. OK. And then I can see that this has a little bit of more space. So if I click here, I will see that there is a little bit of more space. And if I go into advanced and sizing and spacing, I will see 24. And keep in mind that we can also have negative margin or negative padding. So we can create a different layout with the negative margin. Let's see an example right here. So we have these uh, two columns, as you can see here. And I'm going to click here in that column. I'm going to put a white color just to see the difference. And let's go to the background. And we're going to the background color and set that to white. So we have the white color here. And we have this div. This div, let's see, contains some elements, as you can see here, which are uh, the progress bars. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that progress bar and I'm going to put a negative margin and this will push those elements uh, as far away as it can and it will uh, overlap the white background here and this will uh, create a nice effect. So let's go into the advanced, let's go for sizing and spacing and as I can see here we have the margin. If I put zero, zero and then uh, go for the mouse, I can put here negative margin. And as you can see, this will drag those elements into the left. 
and I can go and do, as you can see, an overlapping effect. Let's go for 60. Of course, all of those moved because they have the same class and we have already talked about the classes. If I wanted to move just one, I had to go and use the ID instead of the class. So as you can see now, those elements are overlapping this white. Of course, we have to do another thing uh, also to set those to be on top every time. Uh, we have to go and set the Z index, but this is something different from this video. But I wanted you to know that you can have negative marking and this means that it will push the, the element uh, beneath the limit of the element itself. I hope you understand what I'm talking about and these are definitely things that we're going to see later on as we progress with these uh, tutorials. So that was the differences between the padding and the margin. This is something that you must learn in order to work with oxygen and it's crucial for you to learn it because it's uh, used it it is used everywhere. So thanks for watching guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.